Ayan, hello sa lahat ng followers ng Green Hobby. So ngayon, ang gagawin naman natin for this episode of uh, Green Hobby is worth doing a repotting. So meron tayong tatlong i-re-repot and some of these will also be propagated. No? Yung pinakauna nating i-re-repot, I'll introduce first bago tayo pumunta dun sa actual na pag repot is this one. So this is a Sansevieria Moonshine. Um, medyo mga 4, 3 to 4 months na siya sa garden. If you can see, ito yung pinaka mother plant and then may mga babies na siya. And it's already, ano, nagpo-protrude na yung ating nursery pot. So what we're going to do is to make sure that we will uh, take off these baby plants and put it into a new nursery pot so that mas magiging maganda siya. And possible, yung ating mother plant will also have another baby plant. The next one that we will also propagate is this one. So this one, we will repot and propagate. So this is a uh, Monstera Thai Constellation. So kung napapansin ninyo, medyo nagpa-brown na yung leaves niya. We don't usually cut yung nag-brown leaves because it will just uh, naturally die. Uh, matay lang yan siya kapag super old na siya. But because also, dun sa pinakadulo niya ng leaves, sometimes dun lumalabas yung mga uh, bagong mga leaves niya. Also, if you can see it, ayan, pakita natin, no? Sobrang laki niya na ng root system niya compared doon sa pot niya. That's why we will propagate it and we will repot also yung pinaka main plant. So this is a Thai constellation. The next one is this one. So this is a Pothos Enjoy. So the Pothos Enjoy, it's very easy also to propagate. Pero usually yung nagiging problem with uh, Pothos is yung tendency na super nagiging mahaba siya. So what we're going to do today is we will spruce this. So hindi siya, in a way hindi naman siya propagation, but we will cut and spruce it para mas magiging ano siya, mas magiging maganda siya dun sa kanyang container because if you can see doon sa container niya, wala na siyang marami pang space pero super humahaba siya. So ang gagawin natin is kailangan i-contain natin siya doon para mas maging fluffy lang siya doon sa loob ng kanyang container. So that's our goal for today for the three plants na meron tayo ngayon. So yan, uh, minake sure ko na ready na yung ating ano, mga soil, humus, at saka sand because ang ating pinakaunang iriripat is ang Moonshine Sansevieria. So the Moonshine Sansevieria, it's very easy no? because also nanggaling siya sa uh, succulent family and uh, hindi siya kailangan ng sobrang daming tubig and you don't have to water it uh, like every week. You can water it actually once a month or twice every month. So parang every 15 days. So um, the next one is papakita ko lang kung ano yung mga gagamitin natin ngayon. Pinakauna is of course yung ating soil. So this is a, a mix of a loam soil and a garden soil. Ayan, nilagay lang namin siya sa clay pot. So, mix siya ng loam at saka garden soil. Later on, pakita ko kung ano yung itsura ng loam soil. Nabibili lang naman yung loam, loam soil sa mga gardens uh, everywhere. And then, we also have the, this one. So, this is a pumice. So, nilalagay natin to for the aeration purposes. No? So, I think nasabi ko na siya before in some of the uh, sessions na nagawa ko na ang pumice nilalagay natin siya as uh, 40% na irrigation. And then, since we are repotting a Sansevieria, which is which does not need a lot of moisture and water, we will mix a bit of sand. Ayan, meron tayo ditong sand. Sa mga nagtatanong, I think uh, doon sa unang video na ginawa ko for Green Hobby, nagtatanong sila paano saan bumibili ng soil, anong klaseng soil. So, papakita ko, ito yung binibili namin soil. So, this is a, yeah, this is a loam soil. So, mixed soil na rin siya, uh, and it's also organic. 
Pero what we also do is we mix it with a pure garden soil. So minimix siya namin with a pure garden soil. Para lang for moisture purposes. So, I will start uh, repotting our Sansevieria. So, I will start na no, to repot the Sansevieria moonshine. So, dahil na sa ano lang siya, nasa nursery pot. Tanggalin lang natin siya slowly. There. So I'll just put it here first. So as you can see, ayan. Yun yung babies niya. And then ito yung pinaka mother plant. So what we're going to do is to remove first yung mga excess soil. You can actually reuse the soil, no? Especially sa mother plant later. And then, hahanapin niyo yung parang pinaka-node niya. Para alam niyo kung saan siya puputulin. So now, we can detach it. Ayan, ito yung pinaka-node niya. So pwede natin siyang maputol. There, you have one. Baby Sansevieria. And then, another one. And then, of course, pinaka mother plant. But now, the mother plant will place it here. Muna. And then, we'll mix. So, uh, instead of the 40, 60-40, uh, Balikta rin natin, the 40% would be the soil. So if this is your, to yung aming nursery pot, so it, dapat, 40% of this would be the soil. So we'll put soil. And then, dyan na rin natin imimix later on yung ating humus. Again, wash your hands after nito. This is the 40% of the soil. And then more pumice. And also the sand natin. Then we can mix it here sa kanya lalagyan mismo. Make sure you mix it well. So this is now your baby moonshine Sansevieria. Uh, it's repotted. After this, we can water it uh, and then display it again to the garden. Yeah, and so we're done repotting with our Moonshine Sansevieria. So we have the mother plant here. And then this is the baby Moonshine Sansevieria. So we'll allow them to grow here in our garden. So eventually the mother plant will still produce new babies. And we water them only uh, once a month or uh, twice a month depending dun sa kapag ano na kapag uh, dry na yung kanyang 
topsoil. So, yan. So, we will go to our next plant. Okay, so for our second plant, nilagay lang namin siya sa uh, langgana or basin because uh, kailangan natin mag-mix ng mas maraming, ano, na mas maraming lupa uh, because we have to propagate this um, Monstera Thai Constellation. Kasi, yan, super ganda na ng kanyang root system. So, before natin siya putulin or ikat, we'll have to remove it first from the uh, nursery pot. So, this is how it looks like. And, sobrang ganda na ng kanyang root system. So, we'll just remove the soil. Para makita natin no, kung saan yung pinaka roots niya. After this, actually, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang Monster Thai Constellation. So, that's the whole Monster Thai Constellation. So, we're going to cut. We're going to cut. Dapat sa node siya banda. So, dito siya banda. Ika-cut. So, we will cut it. Yan. So, meron na tayo ngayong dalawang Thai Constellation. So, we'll pot first. Okay, so we're done uh, propagating our Monstera Thai Constellation. So, ito yung mother plant. Yan. So, nakita nyo dito natin kinak from this node. And this one is now the new Monstera Thai Constellation na meron tayo. So, we'll wait na ano yan, tutubo siya on its own. And then, just to show you also, because this is not the first time that we've repotted this and we've been successful also in repotting it. This was the uh, mga about three weeks na na, ano, na uh, Monsera Thai Constellation na mother plant. So as you can see, mayroon na siyang mga bagong shoots na lumalabas. And yung pinutol natin dito, ito na siya, it's also starting to grow on its own. So, we have now, from the two Monstera Thai Constellation, we have now a total of actually four that were uh, growing here in our garden. Okay, so for our last plant for this um, video natin ngayon, no? this is the Pothos Enjoy. So, what we're going to do is we're actually propagating it, pero in the same pot, or yeah, we will use this pot instead para medyo malaki. So, what we're going to do is to spruce it kasi usually, um, pag nilagay mo siya from this one, if you now observe niyo, this is our nursery pot. Pag tinanim mo siya, humahaba lang siya. And you can actually design naman talaga na pahabain siya. Or putulin siya and then ilagay mo siya sa isang pot para mas lalo siyang nagiging lush sa isang pot. So, yan yung gusto natin i-achieve for this one. For this uh, specific photos and joy. Sobrang dami kami ditong photos and joy. So, we will try to spruce this into a pot. And then, um, we'll try to pakita sa inyo after siguro mga around 2 to 3 weeks kung ano yung kanyang itsura. Alright. So, we'll start. And so we're done uh, repotting or spruicing up our Pothos Enjoy. So, yan, kung kanina napansin ninyo, nanggaling lang siya sa isang maliit na pot. We've transferred it into this clay pot no, na unpainted. Uh, what we did was we cut, uh, pin pinutol-putol lang natin siya and binalik lang natin siya dito. So, para mas maging lush siya dito sa pot at hindi siya sobrang humaba. 
Pero kung yung trip nyo ay pahabain yung photos, you can also do that. But this one, we're trying to put uh, yung pinakamahabang ano kanina, photos na stem into this one medium pot para mas maging lush siya. In the next one to two weeks. So, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy what we've uh, done today. Some repotting, some propagating. And this one is sprucing up into this uh, big, uh, to this medium pot na clay pot natin. So, follow ninyo yung Green Hobby. will uh, do more videos to help you in your plant parenting. Thank you!